Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be kind of like the part 2 of the video that I did a few days back which was bestsellers on Nykaa which I absolutely love. Today's video is going to be a little bit more negative than that because today we're going to talk about bestsellers that I actually don't like. I don't want to say like hate because hate is a strong word. I might not hate every single one of these products but I don't like them or recommend them unless and until there are like specific caveats for certain products but otherwise i don't recommend any of these pretty much at all so yes these products might be best sellers and a lot of people really really love them but i personally don't so in case you're interested in that and you want to save some money probably or maybe know my thoughts on some of these specific products might be even you might not like some of these products um if you have tried any of them and if you agree with my opinions on these then please leave it down below because i don't want to feel like i'm the only one who doesn't like these products so in case you're interested in that then please keep on watching let's start first with our cleanser category we'll kind of go in like order of application of skincare steps and then we'll speak about like shower gels and shampoos towards the end of this video the first one is cleanser and for cleanser i have two minimalist cleansers actually which i don't hate but i don't like them as much like i have some cleansers that i really really love which are absolute favorites that i will go out and repurchase over and over again but the cleansers that i have on for this category um, are the minimalist sal salicylic acid cleanser and the alpha lipoic acid cleanser again from minimalist as well now these cleansers i've been currently using and i do like them but they are not my favorites at all and I only like them because they have active ingredients in them. Apart from that, the formula is pretty basic. It doesn't foam up or lather up or really feel like super duper cleansing. It just feels like you're putting on something sort of hydrating on your face. It kind of does leave you feeling clean, but it doesn't like give you the amazing experience of a really nice cleanser that is foaming and um, that really makes you feel like clean so that is something that i personally don't love in cleansers and um if you have someone like if you are someone who has dry skin or if you don't like a foaming cleanser that lathers up you will probably like this but personally i don't really like them too too much um there are definitely a lot of other cleansers that i do much prefer over this um i even think that i like the deconstruct skincare hydrating cleanser way more than this so yeah Apart from the active ingredients in them, there is nothing impressive about this cleanser at all. Then moving on next for our makeup remover category, um, I have another plum makeup remover and I'm saying another because uh, on the bestseller list where I mentioned products that I love, I also spoke about a plum uh, like makeup removal product and today we have another plum makeup remover product but this is their hemp cleansing oil. Now, the cleansing oil, I'm actually not a big fan of. I much, much, much prefer the cleansing balm, which is a favorite. Um, and the reason I don't like the hemp cleansing balm is because I feel like it kind of stings my eye. And because, again, it's a cleansing oil, I tend to feel like I need a lot of product and I go through the bottle pretty quickly uh, in comparison. But I think the main reason is just that I am not as much of a cleansing oil person as I am a cleansing balm person. And the stinging just doesn't help the situation at all so i don't even have super sensitive eyes and this stings my eyes if you have sensitive eyes all the best i i don't know what else to say to you i don't think this would work at all for like sensitive eyes and even in general so if you have used this and it has not stinged your eye please let us know down below because it's it has stinged my eye and i don't like it at all so i did use it up but i will not purchase it ever <laughs> and i wouldn't recommend it at all either then for the serum category most of the serums in fact if you watch that video you would know i had so many like serums i recommend but there was one that i actually do not recommend uh, at least if you have the kind of preference that i do and that is um uh, I mean this product I'll tell you what it is it's the minimalist gran active retinoid now I have tried this in fact all these products I've tried but um, this one and specifically when I tried I was like this is okay you know it's not too bad it's not the best 
but now that i'm back to using my foxtail uh, vitality retinol serum i love that stuff so 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 freaking much and i know a lot of people really do uh, whereas the gram active retinol from minimalist is way more like milky and the way it blends on the skin and the way it applies is not my absolute favorite like at all so that's the reason i don't like it and i wouldn't recommend it if you want to get this i would rather you just get the vitality retinol like serum from foxtail that is way better as compared to this one so do not recommend this at all now for the moisturizer category we have another minimalist product um, and that is their vitamin b5 moisturizer now this one i've used quite i mean it's been a while since i've used it but i still remember when i purchased it and i used it it felt like an occlusive gel cream basically but it sat on top of my skin like a layer did not feel hydrating definitely did not feel moisturizing at all uh, i know it's meant for people who have more normal to oily skin so it's not going to be super moisturizing but the least you would expect is that if you're putting on a gel cream on your face like most gel creams are at least hydrating if not super duper moisturizing but this felt like an occlusive layer that was not hydrating at all and in the evening when i washed my face off basically my skin felt super duper dry so i don't know who this is really meant for to be honest and why so many people are using it and loving it i have absolutely no idea because personally it did not work for me at all at all at all at all so if you like this please let me know because i would want to know who this is working for and how it is working for you i truly actually want to know moving on to sunscreen um these like some of these products you're very well familiar with because i made it very very obvious that i don't like these products at all i'm speaking about the dot and key vitamin c and e sunscreen this is like a cult favorite product at this point so many people absolutely love it but on my skin personally it just did not work at all it would pill it would not blend in it would give me like a slight white cast even i had so many issues with this and earlier i thought i was the only one who had issues with it but then i saw um I think Alifia or Alifa I don't know what her name is uh, but she's called Trend Light on Instagram uh, and she posted a reel actually mentioning products she did not like at all and this was on her list and I'm like oh my god finally there is someone out there who doesn't like this product just as much as I do and I messaged her I'm like I'm so happy to see that you don't like this as well because I don't like it and everyone loves it and I feel like you know मतलब मेरे में ही प्रॉब्लम है एंड शी वॉज लाइक नो दैट्स नॉट द केस एट ऑल देर आर सो मेनी पीपल हु डोंट लाइक इट यू आर नॉट द ओनली वन सो डोंट फील लाइक यू आर द ओनली वन एंड आई एम लाइक थैंक गॉड दैट इज सो नाइस टू नो दैट आई एम नॉट द ओनली वन हु डजन लाइक दिस प्रोडक्ट सो इफ यू डोंट लाइक इट लेट मी नो डाउन बिलो इफ यू लाइक इट प्लीज डोंट टेल मी दट यू लाइक इट बिकॉज आई एम सिक एंड टायर्ड ऑफ यूरिंग पीपल टेल मी दट दे लव इट बिकॉज आई एम लाइक वाई डोंट आई लाइक इट यू नो and then another product which maybe not as intensely but i also feel very similarly about is the plum rice water and ice on my sunscreen my experience with the dot and key and the plum has been pretty much the same and some of my subscribers have also told me that they love the plum one uh and i'm like what is wrong with me why don't i like it because this is another one that so many people even with oily skin have said that they love it I have more normal combo skin but I still feel like people with oily skin cannot use it because it's so creamy and hydrating and like it just doesn't get absorbed that quickly into the skin also pills like same problems like I'm I'm not kidding you same problems with both in fact I feel both of them are very similar also to each other so I have no idea <laughs> then we have the LA shield sunscreen now this one this blows my mind how people have loved it and why is this a best seller because i remember using it back in the day it was the most oily greasy mineral sunscreen that i have used and i just could not figure a way to blend this like i felt like i have a face mask on my face after i put this on 
and recently i saw nianta nianta is that what her name is yeah a beauty post basically on instagram mention this as the best mattifying sunscreen and i'm like what are you are you joking and i love her by the way so i'm not trying to say that she lie she's lying on anything but this was the most oily greasy sunscreen on me and you're telling me this is the best mattifying sunscreen for people with oily skin i'm like seriously like did i get a bad one i don't know but i don't think i'm going to repurchase this or recommend it to anyone i know la shield sunscreens uh, a lot of people really like because it's also like a pharmaceutical kind of a brand but i had such a bad experience after using this specific sunscreen from la shield i don't think i will buy any more i'm just going to stick to my favorite sunscreens that i love and last but not the least we have the aquologica radiant sunscreen which is also uh, on the best seller list this is not surprising to me again because a lot of people like a lightweight sunscreen and this was not the worst sunscreen actually the only reason i'm putting this in my i don't like list is because this left a very um very 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 dewy finish on the skin so it looked very dewy even though it was not feeling heavy or greasy at all and uh, if i put this on my uh, face without any sort of makeup then people would be like oh my god what do you have on your skin and why does your skin look so dewy and like almost oily basically so that is the reason why i just wanted to use it up as quickly as i could and i'm not going to repurchase it at all because on my skin personally it just looks too much like i know it's a radiant sunscreen but it looks so dewy that it's oily so i don't want that radiance also i just want a nice glow kind of a radiance not not like grease no then moving on next we have last two products and last two categories we have shower gels and in the shower gel list there were quite a few that i like and then i mean a lot of them were also not cruelty free so i'm not going to talk talk about those but there was the neutrogena rain bath shower gel which was on the list and this was a product that was loved years and years ago when i first got into the world of beauty but to still see it on the best seller list i'm quite surprised actually because this has pretty much like no scent to it and it's also a pretty basic product so i don't know who is still buying this and why do people still like it because i would assume that this could be a best seller like 10 years ago but now people don't buy it anymore apparently they still do so that's what i'm surprised about but uh, yeah this is not a bad product it's just not what i'm looking for in a shower gel basically it's it's too basic there is also a thing as too basic and especially when it comes to shower gels i think most people like a nice scented shower gel this has no scent to it so i don't know and then if you're using like an aha shower gel and that doesn't have a scent to it i can understand because at least it's going to help with other things right like it's going to help with your kp it's going to help in exfoliating your skin this basically does nothing apart from like cleaning your skin which is the main basic principle so for those people i think it's a good product i guess uh, i don't know and then last but not the least we have our shampoo category and for shampoo again a lot of my favorite shampoos were also on the best seller list but the anomaly shampoos were also on the best seller list and i have tried out two variants from anomaly their black one uh i don't remember what the name of it is but it's like clear bottle and the shampoo in itself has a black color and then this the hydrating shampoo which is white in color neither of the anomaly shampoos i liked i love priyanka chopra i i'm reading a book also right now which again i absolutely love um but like that book actually makes her sound like a normal human being and not a celebrity which is so cool but when it comes to her brand anomaly and the two products i've tried out i haven't liked any of them uh, the shampoos definitely a no from my side because i just didn't find them to be effective on my hair in terms of cleaning my hair or lathering up or anything of that sort so i just didn't like the shampoos uh, which is why i decluttered them passed them on to my mom because she has more dry hair so maybe she will like it i don't know but i didn't like 
15 anomaly shampoos at all and let me know your thoughts did you like them did you not like them but that's gonna be it for this video those were all the best seller uh, products basically products which are on the best seller list in specific categories which I did not really like and personally I would not recommend it to anyone mm. let me know your thoughts down below I think I mentioned this a couple of times already in the video but yeah I would really love to uh, know other people's opinions and reviews on these beauty products so leave your thoughts down below but that's gonna be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching until next time bye bye bye